everyone, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a little bit of an update about all the books I've been reading. Um, and not that I've read a lot. I feel like I've just read some that have missed either my wrap-ups or that I've never talked about. Or I have one book that I have to haul, but it's the only book that I've purchased recently. So I'm not going to obviously do a standalone video about that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to update you guys on my reading. I feel like I had crazy eyes there for a second. Yeah, guys, I just want to tell you about my reading. Anyway, this is gonna be a fun video. Okay, so I have read two books I haven't even talked about. I kind of did them on the whim. Um, I read them in May, but I read them um, after I had done my May wrap up already because I kind of pre-filmed it a little bit. The first one that I read was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Um, this is a book that I had heard raved about by Chelsea Dolling Reads. Um, it is a romance. Um, it's kind of like an enemies, well not kind of, it is an enemies to lover romance. Um, it's about two co-workers who are enemies and eventually they find love together. Um, no, uh, I mean that's just what it is. Like I don't want to spoil anything. It, um, so this is like Chelsea's favorite, favorite book. I've heard a lot of people say that it's like their favorite book. Um, I enjoyed it. Definitely. I think I gave it four stars cause it was good. Um, I think it might have been a little overhyped in my head because to me it was just a pretty standard romance. I mean, it was real cute. Um, I liked their banter back and forth. They had some really good lines. Um, and I wanted them to get together so I mean it was a success a successful book and um, there were a couple of things I didn't like um so the man is kind of really tall and built and the girl was only five foot tall and was made to be kind of small um and I don't know there was something about I personally like don't like that height difference which is such a weird thing to now be like saying like I didn't like this book because the characters were different heights but um it was just like constantly reinforced in the story and so that's why I think that I'm like oh I don't really like that so you constantly telling me about it was a little bit annoying um also like the logistics like sometimes when like they were like describing things I was like that's not possible like she's five foot tall she's not like two foot tall Sometimes I just got a little bit too much in my head about that. Um, but yeah, it was cute. I didn't think it was earth shattering. It was a cute romance and I really liked it. Um, it did, it did have, it's one of those books where I think that it could have done without the sex scene. Um, cause there was one, one, there might've been two, there was at least one. Um, and it, it's I just think that it could have been turned into one of those romances that I read like um like a Nora Roberts romance like it doesn't have sex scenes and it. it implies that they have sex and like it talks about their chemistry and definitely their kissing it doesn't go like step by step um and so I like those books um and so I think that for me if the kissing game didn't have that sex scene in it or however many it had, I think I may have enjoyed it a tad bit more because I I think it either needed to have more sex scenes than the one or two or just take out that sex scene because, I don't know, it had been like a sweet romance for like three-fourths of the book and then all of a sudden it was like a multiple page sex scene. Um, but anyway, that was my thing. Um, I think if you like romances, if you haven't already read it, read it, uh, definitely check it out. I had waited. I know I've talked about how I'm like on a low buy, but um, I think on Memorial Day, it was only $1.99 on Kindle. So I snapped that thing up so fast. Um, yeah, I, I, mean, I liked it, especially for $1.99. The next book I read, because after I read The Hating Game, I kind of wanted to read like another romance. And... I'm on this Facebook group that my mom introduced me to and it's for people who read romances and they do like a lot of, they'll tell you like when things are on sale. That's how I found out about The Hating Game and they also do a lot of book recommendations and so somehow I got on to like a post that had about plus size um, characters and their romances. 
so I, I wanted to do like another cheap one that was, I think the one I ended up reading was free. Um, and it was like a novella. It was only like 60 pages. I read it on my Kindle. I read it actually before work. Um, and it was called, sorry, I have to look cause I have no idea. It was called The Curveball and it was by J.S. Scott, which I've never heard of any of these. So, um, the curveball, it was about this baker who was plus size, who, um, there was a regular customer who came in who was beefy and everything. And I guess he'd been coming in for like a year and really liked her. And, um, anyway, it's, a, it's, they go to a ball and it's eventually like how they get together. I don't want to spoil anything because it's only 60 pages. Um, but it was cute. I gave it like three stars. I think because it was so short, I had no investment into their romance because it kind of, it says that he has like been asking her out for a year, but you come right at the end. Like you come in right at the end. So you don't get to see that like build up, which is part of what makes romance so good is when there's like, I guess I prefer the slow burn where it's like a lot of build up and then when they finally get together, you're excited. But if you come in at the end where the, the burn has already happened and now they're ready to ignite, oh, look at that, analogies. Um, but yeah, it's so it's less satisfying for the reader. Anyway, it was good. I'm glad it was free. I wouldn't have wanted to pay money for it, but it was like a nice thing to read before work. The next book I actually got today, and it is This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. Um, I've heard Julie from Pages and Pen talking about this for like months, and I've been dying to read it for honestly like two months. Um, I don't even really know what it's about. It's about like a girl who moves and meets like a group of friends. Um, and I think the dad in here writes fan fiction, which like for some reason like that... I don't know, I like when um, when books kind of talk about fan fiction. Like, I really liked Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Um, anyway, so I've been wanting to read this book so much, but you guys know I'm on my, like, wanting to read all the books I own before I really buy any more books. Um, so I've, like, held off on buying this book. But I recently started, like, a personal challenge, and I have, like, goals, like, you know like intermittently and so I got one of my goals like I succeeded on something and so this was my reward was I got to read this so I drove 45 minutes to Barnes and Noble so I could get this um I really wanted the hardback because I guess like the naked book of it has like a design on it but they didn't have it so I settled for this um I'm so excited I'm gonna actually start reading this as soon as I get done filming this um but yeah if I, I've seen the hardcover on book outlet sometimes and one of my other goals like further down is that I get to make a book outlet haul. Um, so if I see it there, if I like this book and I see the hardcover on book outlet, um, I might get the hardback cover just because I think that the cover, the inside cover is really nice. But anyway, yeah, that's about it that um, that I've been reading. So I still, I know on my May wrap up, I said that I had finished Wild and Free, um, but I still haven't. So I know I'm going to finish it by June. I just, I kind of um, got into reading contemporary. Like I, I had fully planned on finishing it in May, um, but then I got the hating game and kind of got really sucked into that. Um, so I didn't get to finish it, but I am going to finish that and finish, um, if you haven't seen my June TBR, my sister picked it out and it's kind of a funny video. So you definitely should check it out below, below. I'm going to visit her again. We're going to another concert, um, in June. We're going to go see Rascal Flatts. So I'm super excited. Um, so when I'm there, I want to shoot another video with her for my channel. Um, maybe like a Harry Potter tag or something. Cause uh, she really likes Harry Potter, and as do I, but she's, like, super into it. Um, but, yeah, so that's <laughs> what's been going on with me. Anyway, I um, hope you guys have a great week or weekend. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but whatever. Have a great day, and I will see you all next time.